Good day guys, welcome to Highway Caravan Centre. My name is Andy. Walk around video for you today is of a recently traded uh, Elite Eildon uh, Special Edition 8. Um, customer bought a new van from us and really conscientious caravan people in terms of the way they look after their van. They spent a lot, a lot of time and they're traveling around. Um, so it's always good to get one in that we know has been well cared for. Uh, in addition to the work that we do in our workshop when we send a van out, uh, it gives you that extra bit of peace of mind. So we want to talk to you about <clears throat> Uh, before we go inside, we'll just talk to you quickly about the connections for this van. So if it's something that you decide uh, you would like to take and look at, look at, you're going to need your car to be adapted to suit these connections. So we've got a red Anderson plug, which will power your electronic stability control, which is what helps with our sway. If we get a, any, any wet weather on the roads or wind or anything like that, that helps straighten the van up. Um, really important for safety when you're driving. Gray Anderson plug charges your battery on the van while you're driving and you've got a 12 pin plug to power everything else, your lights, etc. And then we've got a reverse camera cable here. All right, so we've got a standard 50 mil ball, which is top, top mounted, uh, which is good for getting your car underneath and clearance. We've got two nine kilo gas bottles and a regulator here to switch between which gas bottle you're using at the time. And that's also got that protection plate on there from any uh, rocks that might kick up while you're driving. Now, in terms of weights, our empty weight of the van from the factory when it was produced was 21.45. That may not be the case now if the customer's added one or two things to it, so that may be slightly higher. <clears throat> and your ATM is 31.50, so there's you know almost a ton of uh, payload in this van, which is a real feature. And uh, when I told you about the previous owner living in the van for a long period of time, they obviously wanted, needed to take a certain amount of uh, you know, clothes and food and bits and bobs away with them. So that was really important to them to get that rated a little bit higher than what it would have been as standard. So uh, being produced in February 2015 as well. So let's move around. Now the, the van is cladded. Uh, as you can see, the sort of traditional cladding, which is lighter in weight, which helps keep that tear weight down for vans. Uh, we've got our tunnel boot here, which has got all the annexes uh, in bags there. Nice and clean looking. So all the gears ready to go with this van. We've got, of course, our rollout awning with a cradle in the middle to support it. Uh, we've got a couple of LED lights either end. We've got our TV connection point here for 12 volts and a power point and an aerial point, picnic table. We've got a spare wheel at the back and we've got a quite a large sort of toolbox, um, which the previous owner used to keep other items in as opposed to tools, just to keep the weight down from the back. And our lights obviously are up a bit higher to see visibly other motorists can see those. And that's, that that's, has to be like that to, for it to be legal. So we'll step inside. Um, we've got Obviously our full-size queen bed. Let's have a look underneath. We've got two drawers there and our TV uh, is just stored away under the bed. We've got upholstery around the edges that matches the upholstery of the seating area. We've got a shelf at the top of the robes, but a full depth robe that goes below the level of this bench, which is handy. So you've got a rail at the top so you can hang your clothes up in there. A couple of little cupboards here, a couple of tall cupboards there. We've got the fly screens and the block out blind as well obviously there and they're all in pretty good condition there's no sort of marks there they're nice and clean <coughs> excuse me and we've got a concertina door across the bedroom as well which a lot of people sort of want that uh, you know that separation just to make it feel like it's a you know a genuine bedroom that you would have a home tv lo bracket located here so all the connections uh, are in the cupboard there 12 volts already plugged in in the conduit and you've got your dual power point as well Stereo plus overhead cupboards and they've got these nice LED lights just probably an aftermarket thing uh, That's been just fitted in here just to give you that bit of extra light because when the door opens Obviously, it's covering the lights that are in the in the roof. Um, so it just helps with the visibility of what's in there Now we've got a wide table at the cafe seating um, Let's pull this out and have a look so you know you can imagine two plates, you know cutlery Anything else that you put on the table for, for dinner uh, gives you that flexibility to, to comfortably eat and not be, you know, have your plate sliding off and fighting for room. And you've also got a good space to play cards or games or something like that as well. And that just folds back neatly like that. So good wide table there. 
Now we've got a heater in the van, the dial's just down here, which is handy. Uh, we've also got, um, what else have we got here? We've got drawers underneath, and there's one on this side as well, so that's taken advantage of that space that's inside. Push that, lock that closed. Same with all the drawers here. We've got a recessed oven, the bench top runs right the way across when you're not using your oven to give you that working space three gas and one electric grill and your full oven of course microwaves up at the top again more cabinetry space uh, in here you've got your your fuses and it's telling you what's happening with your batteries your water tank gauges your, your water pump switch um, and your solar control as well because we've got solar and battery on this van uh, and our water heater so that's everything in there again those led lights are helping us see that what's in there nice and uh, nice and clearly now the corner kitchen gives you that bit of extra space as well you get the opportunity to store things here you can put a kettle there or anything you want and we've got a filter tap built into the actual uh, main water tap there large fridge Dometic three-way that's been well looked after for someone who's used the van pretty much all year round that's a, a nice clean fridge so again um, Gives us a good idea about how the van's being cared for. Concertina door on the ensuite. Looks like we've got the toilet, ceramic toilet here, and we've got a large cupboard there with shelves. My uh, washing machine here, good size basin, plenty of storage there. And I think this has been done. I think this is this. Oh, this is removable there. So the uh, previous owner put a piano hinge on there just to give you better access uh, to the washing machine from the the front three drawers there and then of course a large shower which has got the little shelf in the corner which is always handy so that's the elite yielding uh, really well looked after just recently traded van come and see us at highway caravan center and maybe this is the right van for you